Poll questions, question orale, the Honorable Member for Calgary, Paris Long. Mr. Speaker, enormous deficit spending by this Prime Minister caused the Bank of Canada to hike its interest rates for the seventh consecutive time this year. An average mortgage will cost Canadians an extra $7,000 in interest payments alone. This Prime Minister's reckless spending has already driven up the costs on gas and groceries, and his failed energy policies will make home heating costs double. He'll further pile drive Canadians financially with, when his failed carbon tax increases this year. Why won't the Prime Minister stop his wasteful inflationary spending, axe the failed carbon tax, so Canadians can keep the heat on this winter and food on the table? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives are nothing if not at least consistent. They continue to ask us to stop being there to support Canadians. They oppose the child care agreements that we signed with the provinces, uh, child care agreements that we're enshrining into law with legislation we're bringing in today. They oppose the dental support for low-income Canadians to make sure uh, the kids have the best start in life possible. They oppose the rental supports uh, that we move forward to deliver for Canadians. Uh, they stood against the kinds of supports we were flowing uh, to Canadians through the dark times of the pandemic. Uh, we will continue to be there for Canadians and remain fiscally responsible, because that's what Canadians expect. Well, member for Calgary, Forest Lawn. Mr. Speaker, it's easier for this Prime Minister to sit in his ivory tower and blame everyone else and spend even more of Canadians' money to cover his own inflationary mess. His inflation tax is going to cost Canadians an extra $3,500, according to the Governor of the Bank of Canada. He is the architect of sending 1.5 million Canadians into a food bank, half a million of which were children. He's responsible for one in five Canadians skipping meals. He keeps failing, and can Canadians continue to be on the hook for it. When will he understand Canadians can't afford any more of his failures and just want to eat and heat their homes? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the Conservatives say they stand with Canadians and then they stand in opposition to measures that ensure that Canadians can send their kids to the dentist. Then they stand in opposition uh, to measures that will give families uh, who pay a large amount of their low incomes on rent uh, to get an extra bit of help. Uh, then they stand against and continue to stand against uh, child care fees that have been cut in half across the country that is not not only uh, giving opportunities uh, for kids to get the best start in life, not only uh, supporting parents when uh, the cost of living and payments are so high, but at the same time ensuring that our economy grows as people participate fully in our growth. Member for Kelowna Lake Country. Well, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister continues to keep his head in the sand when it comes to people's home heating bills. You know, someone from my community reached out to me recently saying that they had to make the tough decision whether to pay for their Fortis home heating bill or to buy groceries. Wow. He chose to heat his home even though the bill went from $46 a month to $163 a month. And he said that now he has to go to a food bank just to feed himself. The same food bank that he used to donate to. So why is the Prime Minister tripling down on increasing carbon taxes for everyday Canadians who can't even heat their homes now? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I've heard from Canadians right across the country that they are facing difficult times. We know uh, how important it is to be there for Canadians, which is exactly what we are doing as a government, despite Conservative politicians opposing that. We're there with dental supports. We're there with rental supports. We're there with cutting child care fees in half. I was just in uh, the Honourable Member's province uh, a few days ago uh, to make an announcement on uh, the fact that child care fees have been cut in half, saving families hundreds, even thousands of dollars a month. We will continue to stand with Canadians despite Conservative opposition.